Hi there, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at uh, one part of the system for belaying from the top, which is specifically this carabiner right here. The carabiner that loads through the keeper wire of your auto blocking device. In this case, I'm using an ATC guide. And the reason I'm reviewing these carabiners is because the type of carabiner that, that you use and the type of device that you use can either add a significant amount of friction and therefore a lot more work or reduce the amount of friction and therefore the amount of work of belaying, which is pulling the brake strand down through this auto blocking device. So first, the device that I'm using here is an ATC guide. It's a slightly older version that has a little bit thicker metal and it's worn down, which means that these little grooves that are designed to increase friction on the rope are worn down a bit. And I found that this device is the best device I've used on the market currently. It's currently 2020 and uh, it offers the least amount of friction when in auto block mode. So it beats out um, things like the uh, Reverso, it beats out uh, Mammut's version, um, it beats out the DMM version. Um, every other auto blocking plate I've tried has more friction than a worn out ATC guide. So that's the first part. And so let's take a look. So this carabiner here is the infamous old style Petzl Attaché locking compact HMS carabiner. That's a big mouthful. And most of the carabiners I'll be looking at today are round stock HMS, that means pear shaped, and screw locking carabiners rather than auto locking carabiners, which makes it much easier to load and unload ropes. Now the reason I'm looking at compact is because they're lighter weight, they're a little easier to handle. The HMS shape is also easier to load the rope into typically and offers less friction when the rope is running over the basket side, which is the wide side of the carabiner, and the round stock, whereas opposed to having an I-beam design where you have a groove that runs through this piece of metal here, also drastically reduces the friction. Now, I, the reason I say these are infamous is because every guide, every person guiding rock would have a whole cache of attaches because this was the best carabiner on the market for this purpose for a long time. And especially guides who use locking carabiners a lot and drag a lot of rope through these devices would want to stock up, especially on this one, which is no longer produced and they've been bought up by people like me. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab the rope that goes down to my climber. I would be attached into this system with some kind of tether. Usually I use the rope. Check out our other video on tethering to an anchor to see different ways you could do that. But for clarity, I'm gonna leave myself out of the system. I'm gonna load this in the device with the climber strand on top and I'm gonna lock that carabiner down. Okay, now it's locked. And now when I pull on the brake strand, my rope is moving. You'll also notice the way I like to load this carabiner is so that the basket, which is the wide side of the carabiner is up and that's what the rope is running over. And that generally reduces the likelihood of this carabiner flipping and loading the gate as opposed to say loading the spine where a lot of times the angle can cause it to rotate in and flip. I usually find the basket because of this round shape here redirects it back toward the center and does a pretty good job when I'm belaying. So I'm gonna belay just like that. And you'll see with this old style attache locking carabiner, it's pretty nice and fluid. So I would buy these off of a lot of people. However, on the market today, there are other options that still are available for sale. So we're gonna take a look at a few of those other options. So the first carabiner I'm gonna look at is a, a pretty awesome carabiner. You can buy this on trekin.com or any site that sells European gear into the United States. This is a locking carabiner by Salewa, and you'll look at it. It's nearly perfect round stock, not quite as perfect as the old style attaché. It's almost identical in shape and size and gate structure, and both of them are key lock, which means it has a nose on this gate that is not hooked, so it's less likely to get hung up on your shirt or on your harness or on other pieces of material while you're climbing. So this is a really great carabiner to replace the old style attaché and they're quite affordable. It's a little heavier, but it also means it's not going to wear out as much, but these sell for right around $10, uh, 10 US dollars. Okay. So take a look at this one. I load that up. So every time I load these, they're going to be exactly the same. Lock that down. And when I pull through, it has 
almost as little friction as the old style attache locking carabiner, but due to the slight ridge, which I'll see if you can see, maybe you can see it in that glow there, there's a slight ridge to the round stock, which does increase the coefficient of friction ever so slightly, making it not quite as good as the old style, but it's pretty close and a great carabiner to purchase to belay from the top. The next style of locking carabiner I'm gonna look at is from Trango. And you'll see it's also HMS. It's not quite as compact as the old style locker. You can see it's a little bit on the bigger side, but it is nice round stock, much smoother than the new Salewa locking carabiner with a screw gate. So this does a really good job blaying as well. It also has a bit of a stiffer gate, okay? When I pull through a little bit more friction than say, the old style Soleil, or excuse me, the old style Attaché, but this would be sort of a, a runner up to those first two carabiners. So my first choice over would be the old style Attaché. Second choice would be this new, or excuse me, I still called this a Trango. This is a Kong, sorry, pardon me. It's a Kong locking carabiner. I'll put the exact name of each of these products um, in the notes here. So that's Kong locking carabiner with a round stock. So now let's take a look at the overall winner for carabiners that are still on the market that are round stock that are easy to belay from the top with. My final locking carabiner that I wanna take a look at is the Camp Nimbus. Now the Camp Nimbus locker has a very, very smooth inside here and a slightly asymmetric top. I don't know if you can see that there, but it's not quite round stock all around. But you know, I have an idea that round stock, pure round stock carabiners would be the best, but ideas in reality don't always line up. And when I actually started to use this new style of Camp Nimbus locker and pull the rope through, I found out that it had about the same, if not less friction than the old style Petzl Attaché locking carabiner. So this, new Nimbus, Camp Nimbus locking carabiner is now my go-to locker that I like to use to belay from the top, offering very little friction. It's fairly affordable and it's also fairly durable. Typically durability comes at a bit of a cost in weight and this is not the lightest compact HMS locking carabiner on the market, but it does its job really well. So I highly recommend using this product. So the last thing I want to show here is a, a modern style attache locking carabiner. So you can see in this modern style locker, you have that I-beam design, which has this groove. So clearly that's going to have more friction when belaying from the top, right? And when I pull through, I can feel this rope running over all those edges. So that's not really what I recommend it for. However, when I'm going to repel, this is a great locking carabiner to have available because then you're not wearing out your nice round stock carabiner. So you can replace it with a modern style carabiner that has this I-beam construction. They're lighter weight and you typically need to bring more locking carabiners other than simply a single locking carabiner for the, the uh, bling from the top purpose anyway. So I already have this on my harness. Usually that's what I might be clipping into with with a clove hitch from the uh, rope that I'm tied into, or I could be clipping in my friend or my guest if I'm guiding. So I typically have these anyway. So it's not a bad thing to use when you're actually repelling. I usually use an extension when I'm repelling, but just to show here, clipped in like that. And then it can be actually beneficial because when you're repelling, oftentimes you're looking for more friction and this style of a locking carabiner can offer more friction. So hopefully this has been helpful to you all and uh, happy shopping for your new carabiners.